Hi, this is Anil. In this video, I will discuss about Spring Framework Architecture. Spring follows layered architecture and the Spring Framework consists of uh, about 20 modules uh, organized into core container, AOP, data access integration, web and testing layers. I will discuss about each module one by one briefly. Core and Beans modules are basis for a Spring Framework. These modules are used across all the Spring modules. Main component of this module is Bean Factory. Actually, it implements factory design pattern. This module allows you to inject dependency objects which are specified in XML annotations. This module allows you to create singleton beans declaratively through XML. So we don't need to create singleton objects programmatically. Next one is Spring Context model. Spring Context model extends core and beans modules and also provides support for internationalization. This model support Java EE features like EJB, JMX and remoting. Next one is expression language. Using this we can query and manipulate object graph. That means we can set and get the properties of the objects and invoke methods on those objects. Now we will discuss about data integration layer. This layer contains JDBC, ORM, OXM, JMS and transaction models. First one is JDBC model. If you work with plain JDBC, we have to write a lot of bilateral code like creating connection, prepare statement, processing the result set and closing the connection. JDBC model provide template class so we don't need to write all this code and uh, we can keep our code cleaner. When you use plain JDBC, exceptions contains vendor specific messages and error codes. This module transforms all these messages into meaningful exception messages. Spring ORM model. ORM means object relational mapping. Spring ORM model provides integration with ORM tools like uh, Hibernate, JDU, and Ibatis. Spring ORM wraps exceptions of ORM tools, converts them from proprietary checked exception to common runtime data access exception. This makes you to write cleaner code without annoying try catch boilerplate code. Next one is OXM model. Using plain JAXB and XML means we can perform object to XML mapping. Spring OXM model provides abstraction layer that supports object to XML mapping for JAXB, XML means cast and JBX. Transaction model provides programmatic as well as declarative transaction management. In the next video, I will talk about uh, Spring Web Layer, AOP, and instrumentation and testing layers.